At Carnegie Mellon University and the University of Pittsburgh, we have been developing a small surgical snake robot, which we term the HARP, highly articulated robotic probe. The HARP can use its many degrees of articulation to reach anatomic targets deep in the body without disturbing surrounding tissues, which of course is key for minimally invasive surgery. We are now interested in natural orifice surgery, which undoubtedly requires a longer articulated probe. We therefore began development of an overtube for natural orifice surgery. The current video illustrates the use of a novel overtube to increase the harp's capabilities and to enable it to reach places it could not before. A novel feature of the harp is that it uses conventional motors. The harp's design consists of two concentric tubes. Each tube comprises many plastic links strung together on strings. The two tubes can alternate between being rigid or limp, while the outer one can also direction the distal link. The harp follows an arbitrary curve in three-dimensional space by alternating the rigidity and limpness of the outer and inner mechanism. Since the force required by the strings to be pulled is proportional to the weight of the harp, its length is limited. As an example, here is a 600 mm long harp failing to support itself. The overtube that we are developing allows a dramatic increase of the mechanism's length. The overtube is a third concentric tube controlled by three motors. The first section of the probe is not steerable. Once the overtube is driven passively into its configuration, the strings are tightened and the overtube becomes a rigid support cannula for the harp. By including this third tube, we can double the overall length of the probe. This next section shows two demonstrations of the harp with the overtube. The first is a benchtop demonstration of a 600 mm harp mechanism with the help of the overtube. The mechanism can first be passively shaped into position, imitating the insertion of the overtube into a natural orifice. Then the probe exits the overtube and the articulation begins. The second demonstration shows the possibility to use the mechanism in domains other than the medical field. Here we insert the harp with the overtube into a mobile robot simulating a suspicious vehicle. We first drive the probe into a hole on the vehicle. We reduce the rigidity of the overtube to allow the mechanism to passively enter the vehicle. After the overtube is sufficiently inserted into the vehicle, we rigidify it and start the articulation of the harp. To summarize, this video shows the addition of an overtube to the harp mechanism, which allows the mechanism to double its overall length while keeping its simplicity. Our current goal is to bring our mechanism to the operating room to use in notes procedures. The use of our overtube is adequate to notes procedures since the harp can be passively guided into a natural orifice and only then be articulated to perform the specific tasks.